scientists have gone from strength to strength during the past decade. Science has brought mankind new and undreamt of standards of living. The development of the science of electrohydromagnetics has given us limitless cheap power. They have been able to harvest the great hidden wealth of the sea. From coal and petroleum, they have developed the manufacture of appetizing and nourishing foods. We have freedom from want and from cooking. The same source of power applied to mass production has resulted in an inexhaustible flood of consumer goods and a worldwide affluent society. This has created certain problems. In the more densely populated areas of our planet, people have been confined to their cars for over five years. The younger children cannot remember the time when it was possible to move around in cars. In those days, everyone wanted to go faster than the next person. There was also a desire to own bigger cars. This wish on the part of the public was faithfully served by designers, scientists, manufacturers, salesmen, and psychologists. <laughs> The result? The launching of the 40-foot supercar. The trend was immediately adopted all over the world. Encouraged by the success of long cars, a most inspired idea was brought into operation. A car for every occasion. A car for Sunday. A car for dating. A car for retired admirals. The campaign culminated in the automatic baby carriage. These baby cars were guided by the mother by remote control. Many childless couples rush to have two or three cars ready in advance. A new structure of civilization is already apparent.
universal immobility, war is now unthinkable. Peaceful coexistence exists. Scientists turned their attention to the problem of supplying the needs of car dwellers. A system of colored signals indicated their wants and distribution was carried out by helicopter. As the car dwellers grew accustomed to their new environment, they discovered that those who lived higher up were better off. The prestige of top-level living led to keeping up above the Joneses. This guaranteed a never-ending demand for new cars. Mass production was not enough. Seeking an answer, the scientists stumbled on a discovery of the first magnitude. <laughs> A car that could reproduce itself, the ultimate in automation. Once again, thanks to the genius of scientists, the world is on a firm foundation.